Hello everybody, Nerd in Texoma here with another video. Uh, this is a crossover or collaborative item that has come out within the past month or so. Uh, it's a Target exclusive or you can get it, I believe, on Hasbro Pulse. Uh, you can find it on various different websites, you know, eBay, Mercari, all that kind of stuff. Uh, of course, eBay and those, you're probably going to pay a little bit more than if you go to Target and get it yourself. <clears throat> as far as I understand, it's kind of a slower moving item, and there's a, quite a few different... Uh, discount codes and stuff like that that you can get from Target to bring the price down from 45 bucks. I've heard some folks have gotten it down as low as like 20 to 25. Uh, you do it online, you can break it up into four payments through PayPal. Uh, there's lots of options. Fairly easy to get. Fairly cool in my opinion. Uh, cool looking figure and cool looking packaging that they've gotten for the figure. What I'm talking about is the you know, see if it'll go over there without doing stranger things. <laughs> this is the Stranger Things Transformers Collaborative Crossover Code Red. Surfer Boy Pizza Van Delivery Van. Uh, it comes in a package like this that you'll see on the shelf. Little slip sleeve. It's got the little, are you still watching Netflix? It's got your uh, images of the figure. Of course, there's already some right on the front there. And then there's a few more images on the back of Code Red and the Pizza Van. Again, the it's doing stranger things while I'm trying to show off the box. This is just a slip sleeve that comes off and shows the inside box, which is made to look like a pizza box even got your little checklist of what toppings and stuff you want on it. Now I've already opened this so the figure is not in here because I want to show you some of the other funny details they put into this box. On the top, if it'll stay unstranged, you see there's pizza stains right there and if you can see it well enough which I can't without it doing stranger things from the upside down there is a hidden image of a demigorgon in the pizza stains continuing down the box You'll see there's some more pizza stains at the bottom of the box. And I haven't been able to determine personally what the hidden image is in the stains on the bottom of the pizza box. But, I mean, it's a fairly decent recreation of a standard pizza box, although kind of small, if it will quit phasing out into the upside down. <laughs> Pretty cool little gimmick they did there. On When you open the box up, this is what you're normally greeted with. See this little insert showing 
a pizza waiting for you in there. Although, you know, don't try to eat it. This little napkin looking lump is actually where you'll find the figure of Code Red. Simplistic little extra box there. So, if you'll give me a moment, I will pop this open and show y'all what's inside. All right, everybody, back again. Got him unpackaged. Got a little cut out there of where he would go comes wrapped in a little napkin that has some uh, drawn on things, a little map of the Hawkins area, kind of interesting there. Probably not showing up that great on this video and I apologize for that. I'm sure somebody out there has a digital version that is much cleaner if you're interested in seeing the little map. Uh, it does come with a few accessories. It's got a like a blue spiked mace there. It's got a blue Axe. Let's see if we can get it back from the upside down. So y'all can see it. <laughs> Comes with a little pizza of his own. Surfer Boy pizza. Comes with a yellow Cheeto a blast effect. Then we have the vehicle mode, a very nicely reproduced, licensed reproduction of a Volkswagen minivan, minibus, whatever these are called. Uh, my ex-wife used to call them a rolling toaster. But to her, they looked like it was a poster shape. <laughs> then you've got the Surfer Boy sign that just pops off like that. And let me see, I've never done this before, so bear with me. It's supposed to just pop out and become another weapon for him. He's got like a little blaster that comes out of his sign there that you can plug in the little flamethrower blast effect. And the top slot there is big enough for the pizza box to slide down into. Like he has an extra ammo clip. <laughs> and from what I've understood also from watching other folks that have this figure you got to be careful because it's clear plastic so you can combine the axe and the mace into one weapon there so you can slash and smack the fooey out of you if you're from the upside down but yeah, here is the vehicle mode, done up in the yellow colors, just like he was in the TV series. Pretty decently detailed. They forgot a couple of things, like the phone number on the back, and there's a few other small details. He does have tail lights. He does have headlights, turn signals. He's got side mirrors, 
pretty darn cool, if you do ask me. My one complaint right now, uh, seeing the different reviews and seeing the figure in hand itself, is right here. These gray pieces, they're supposedly made out of some unpaintable type of plastic, trying to get that back from the upside down so you can see it. <laughs> but yeah, they're on both sides there. I can understand if the painted, the plastic itself is not able to be painted. Yeah, I think they could have added just a little yellow decal to cover that up so it's not just so glaringly obvious. Um, I'm sure that Toy Hacks or Recro Labels will make an upgrade kit, you know, including the phone number. Hopefully something to uh, cover up this gray bit here and make it look a little bit more cohesive. Uh, hoping they will. Who knows? We'll see. Well, I'd say this is a pretty nicely done, fairly good representation of a Volkswagen minivan, minibus from the 80s that you would see. I mean, of course, you know, you're going to get the panel gaps and panel lines from it being a transformer, you know, you're going to get the odd hinges sometimes, stuff like that, because, you know, you got to have the panels to flip and change and move around to go from vehicle to robot mode. And speaking of robot mode, I am going to go ahead and transform this. Maybe not necessarily on camera, but you know, live. So what you want to do first off is you pop these front wheel panels off. And flip them all the way back around. Come back here and get the back part of the van and split that carefully because this is clear plastic. Flip up both of those sides of the van. Get this unpegged more. Once you get both legs unpegged from the back of the van, it'll just kind of automatically fold down like that. And you can move these side bits up and out of the way. You want to unpeg the arms from the roof of the van and flip them out. Then, from what I've seen, come to the back here and kind of flip these panels up and out of the way. Because what you're going to do next, these back panels back here fold out and fold down, becoming his feet. Then the side flap here, the first thing that you unpeg, is going to just come down and slide into place like that. These panels will fold over, becoming the front of the legs. Then you go and twist the waist around like that. <clears throat> the windshield of the vehicle is going to be the chest and stomach area. Go ahead and flip down the back panel right now. So you'll see the robot head has flipped up. Then you come under here, 
into the forearms and flip out the robot fists and turn them around. There you take and flip the fist and turn it up around. And that's the basics of it. There's uh on the back of the body here there's some tabs that tab into the front section that will help to lock it in place, since this is my first attempt at transforming it, I don't have those lined up properly. So my back of the figure is a little on the floppier side at the moment. I mean, it stays put in robot mode, so, oh yeah, if I remember correctly, they were showing, we've got to have the arms in a certain way for it to tab in all properly. lined up. If I can't, eh, no big deal. I'm not really going to mess with it too much. Yeah. Small little tabs don't seem to want to work properly for me right now. figure it out. And plus, this area that these tabs are supposed to go into is clear plastic. And clear plastic can be quite finicky at times. It can break very easily without warning, so I don't want to press it too much. Apparently I did get it the upside down will let me have the figure back. I did get it done. So his backpack here is tabbed in. I think he's a pretty cool figure. He's got kind of the uh, fast food worker uh, mouthpiece over there, you can see the little, can I take your order? You know, stuff like that. Uh, he does hold his weapons. If I can get that on there. He's got his, well, kind of, there we go. Got his little surfer boy vehicle sign a weapon there. And like I said, if you go ahead and put the axe in here, there's a little tiny peg. Probably can't see it too well, but tiny, tiny little one on the end of the mace weapon or bludgeoning weapon down there. He can hold that as one or if you want, if you prefer, you know, just an axe, he can hold just the axe or he can hold just the bludgeoning weapon. However you want to display the figure, play with the figure, that is entirely up to you. 
Uh, he's got decent articulation. I'm uh, not really seeing great range of motion on the head. So that's not something that great. I mean, that's as far over as I've gotten it to move. Come on. There we go. I mean, it just barely moves on my copy. You know, he's got elbow joint there. He's got wrist rotation. You can get some different poses. See the one just kind of pops off from the other. So if you're going to be moving him around and stuff like that, I'd suggest taking out the one of the combined weapon and just storing that aside until you get him in the pose that you want and then pop it back in if you want to double weapon that way. And he's got the good old leg kick. He's got some knee movement there. Of course, I'm not going through the full thing. There are numerous other videos right now out there since this is a still still a fairly new figure, you know, showing off all of his articulation and all that. He's got his ankle movement, so you can get him into different poses and stuff like that. Uh... He pegs together fairly well, and there's not too many glaring, obvious uh, hollow bits on him, aside from the inside of his forearm right there in robot mode. There's a pretty gnarly hole in his arm depending on how you pose him. Other than that, I mean, robot mode is pretty solid. Looks pretty cool. I'm sure, again, since uh, Toy Hacks does some uh, smaller upgrade kits and filler kits and stuff like that, they'll probably figure one out for that hollow section in his arm. Uh, if they don't, I'm sure somebody else will. There's a huge, huge community out there of people and companies that make filler kits for what Hasbro didn't. The only other area that I could see that would potentially need a filler kit is if the Upside Down will cooperate with me right back here on the upper part of his back leg buttock area, I guess you would say. There's that hollow gappiness there. Honestly, you know, you're probably never going to see that part because, you know, when you got your bots on the shelf, they're facing forward for battle action or they're in vehicle form. So you're probably not going to see that, but I can see some third party coming out with a gap filler for the forearm and the upper leg. All in all, I'd say a pretty decent figure. Like I said, definitely look into uh, the different codes that Target has right now, the different offers. Uh, when I got him, they were running a, I believe it was a 20% off for Target Circle members. Uh, I've heard there's uh, the red card. If you have that, there's offers on figures with that. I think there was also a buy one, get one half off on certain toys and stuff like that. So I'm not uh, again, I'm not sure exactly what all Target's got going on right now, but definitely check Target and their website and see what offers that they have. 
if you're interested in this figure. The normal price, I believe, is like about 45 bucks, if I remember correctly. Like I said, when I got them on sale, I got them for about 33 with the discounts and all that Target specials that I had. Your mileage may vary. You might get a better discount. But I think I've seen them going on eBay also right now for about 70 bucks. I would definitely not pay 70 bucks for this figure. About 30, it's decent. And like I said, I used the uh, PayPal pay in four option from the Target website. So that drops me down to payments of about eight bucks every two weeks for two months. You know, I'm broke, but I can find that. That is. You know, not getting a pizza that week for a dinner. You know, I can do that to get a pizza fiend transformer. <laughs> that I think is pretty cool. So, all right, y'all. Take it easy. Uh, this will most likely be the last video that I do before Christmas. So, if y'all celebrate that... Merry Christmas to y'all. If you don't, that's perfectly all right also. As I said in the previous video, there's tons of different holidays going on during this season. And I wish each of y'all a happy holiday or whatever celebration y'all follow at this time of year. Make it the best you can. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy friends and family. Enjoy alone time if that's what your celebration is like. But just be good to each other. Be cool. Check on each other. Help people out where you can. You know, let's put some positivity back in this world because there's enough negative trash without adding to it. So, all right, y'all. Take it easy. Nerd and Texoma. See you all next time.